Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to do some jQuery arrays, and this is important to know because uh, the same principle applies in every programming language that I've ever touched, and they're really useful. Uh, the reason I like programming is because it's the only thing that listens to me. <laughs> All right, so to make an array, uh, let's just make a variable. I'll say var arr for array, and I'll do equals, and we do these square brackets. Okay, and um, then we put in values. Let's say cat, dog, fish. You say, well, I already know this. That's all right. Um, I'm going to show you some tricks with it too. And then I, down here I have a div ID of box, and I'll do um, box.html array. And I'll refresh this, and nothing appears because it can't print all these out into it. So what you can do is something similar to Java, not JavaScript, but Java. This is also in JavaScript. That sounds confusing. And we do to string. So it turns this array to a string, and there it lists it out to us. Uh, and another one you can do is called join. And this one's a little bit different. Well, it's actually pretty much the same. <laughs> but r dot join, and I'll do a uh, plus. And this will be the space between each of these items. Isn't that pretty cool? And an array is uh, it's pretty handy. They hold pockets of data, obviously. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do uh, a couple functions on this array. Let's say we want to um, add something to the start. We do array dot unshift. I'm, I'm having trouble remembering. Okay, unshift and let's say food and refresh and that adds it to the front you say what kind of thing is unshift what does that mean well if you type array dot shift this will remove the first item just just if you put your hands in the air and just move them to the left think of that like shift to the left and that'll remove cat okay and unshift is like shifting it to the right and adding something in there Hopefully that's not too confusing, but this is uh, true in PHP as well. So shift and unshift, those are good ones to know. If we did um, r dot length, we can get the length of the uh, thing. So in this HTML, I'll just pop in array dot length and it tells us how many of these items we have if you need to do that for some reason <laughs> uh, there's also one called pop and it's kinda like the opposite of shift pop will remove the last item okay I'm just gonna put this back in two string again and you see pop just pops the thing off the end the last item. Pretty easy peasy so far. It just takes a little time to remember these, you know. Um, let's see. Um, we did array pop. Let's do array slice. Slice. So uh, we've covered slice and Python, uh, maybe PHP and stuff. It's all the same. If I wanted to select 0 to position, I guess, 1, it'll go to cat only. Let me refresh that. Um, you have to assign this slice. There we go. Basically, what slice is doing is it's saying slice from position 0 and stop at 1. And this is 0, this is 1. So it's going to stop right there where my little blinking cursor is and you know you're just slicing it up you have to assign it okay it's not referenced but if you have a 
uh, variable that's referenced, I believe that splice is. And I'll refresh that. And that one actually works. And splice is kind of like the opposite. Uh, basically, we're removing 0 to 2. So 0, 1, and then right here where that blinking cursor is, is where we're going to stop removing. Okay. And if I did 0, 1, it's only going to remove cat. Okay. And this is a reference, meaning it changes the actual value, the same uh, item in memory. Okay. Um, but the slice, you have to assign it. Okay. So, um, let's do some funner things. If we had uh, an item, let's call this a submit item. Input type equals submit. <clears throat> and we wanted to get a series of values. Okay. Um, let's just say um, 25 um, and we could make a fake tag called um, I don't know ID 2 equals fish ID 3 equals dog uh, we'd have to use jQuery to pick up each one of these one by one and it'd be a little messy an easier way to do this would just be to put it all in one field sorry about the highlighting it's hard to read Okay. So we have 25 fish dog. I like to separate my items with these pipes because they're easy to tell what's what. So I'm going to get rid of this out of the box real quick. And we can get rid of this. So we'll say, um, let's get, let me give this an ID actually. ID equals submit. So submit dot attribute of rel, okay, and let's say data equals that, okay. So our data in here is going to be this right here. So let's do um, data. Let's see what it says, okay. So it has that in there. And what if we wanted to get one of those one by one? What you would do is, uh, oh, I just forgot. <laughs> um, each no that will loop through it um, split that's it okay so we could say um, var of uh, data equals um, data dot split and we want to split it by the pipe okay and if I refresh good it doesn't show up now we have an array okay so I could do data dot to string oops forgot the little things there refresh and that will show it or we could use this as an actual array in our little uh, square items so that'll only print out the first value and you can imagine that could be quite useful if we needed to do something with the data itself okay so uh, split's a pretty cool one. You say, well, what if I want to add an item uh, on the end of the array also? You can do it this way too. Data dot push. Um, let's say, hey. And let's do that two string again. Two string. Refresh. And there's hey on the end. You just push an item onto the end. And lastly, um, let's do a each loop. You're going to use each loops a lot. Okay. And this one, you start with the dollar sign, or it could be jQuery, you know, the word dot each. Um, so dollar each. Okay. And we pass what we want each of. We want to do each of the uh, data array. Okay. So this is what it looks like down there, 25 fish dog, and it has an array for each one of those. And we're going to do a function and pass in some stuff for the loop. And kind of like a uh, for each loop uh, in PHP, I'm, I'm sure most people are using PHP from now. Uh, if you're using jQuery, uh, I'll do I and value. 
or you could say key value looks just like a for each loop and I'll put this here and instead of HTML I'm gonna do append so that it adds on to each other and what I can say is key um, plus let's say key is val plus new line so that looks a little scary to read refresh and we get each one of these elements of uh, the placeholder and the value and if you ever needed to use that there it is uh, I'll make a real uh, normal array so it's not as confusing so we'll just say data equals Jesse Joe Jen just okay and there's what it does with an actual array there is also array sorting as well which you just do dot sort and I think that's that and thanks for watching